Hi friends, it's been a while. Oh, it has been, oh my God, like a month or no, it's been almost two months, I think. We got a lot to catch up on. Grab a drink, grab a drink, grab a snack, grab a spliff, grab a shot, I don't care. Personally, I will be sipping on some matcha. Um, what the fuck is in my drink? Is that a bug? Oh my God, there's a bug in my drink. Okay, so I guess I'll be sipping on air. All right, so, oh, it's been a while. It's been like two months. I just wanted to come back with like a life update, mental health check-in video before we get into like the good stuff. I'm so ready to give you guys content. I have so many ideas and topics and things I want to discuss. Oh my God, I don't even know where to begin. Okay, so the last you saw me, I guess it was my mental health check-in, um, the tattoo vlog, things like that. Quite a bit has happened. So in that time, um, what's happened? Oh my goodness, let's think. Oh, I got my book my handy dandy notebook. So I wanted to talk about um, what's been going on in my life, how I am mentally, how therapy's been, all this stuff, where I'm at in my spiritual journey, things like that, just share some stuff. I don't know, I wanna get real personal today. If you guys have any questions about my life and you're just curious, you know, I know some of you guys are nosy, Feel free to comment any questions you have for me. All right, so we're currently in a new season of life. I keep seeing this quote float around the internet talking about new season of life means new characters unlocked, new locations, new this, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, holy shit, I really am in a new season of my life and it's really, really crazy. I just feel like my life has just dramatically changed in the past However many months, I would say since the breakup, if I'm being honest, which if you guys didn't know, that was like April, early, early April, probably like April 1st or 2nd or something. It was right at the full moon, which is crazy. The full moon predicted it was gonna happen. So anyways, so after, did you guys know that I went through a breakup? Because I did. <laughs> I don't remember if I shared it on here or not. I think I did, but it definitely like wasn't the title of the video. It's like one of those, if you know, you know. I think I, think I did, but um, yeah, I'm single. I've been single for a minute now. It's been like, Oh, five months I don't know it's been some months and I feel great I didn't think I would ever say that um, in the first one to two months of my breakup I was going through it of course like you know when you know something has to happen and you've made peace with it but then you also still have to grieve the loss in your life it's like a whole process right you know it's for the best but you also it's bittersweet so I knew it was gonna get better. Throughout the whole process, I knew like this is temporary, pain is temporary, because um, I knew that better was coming. Because I I'm aware of the fact that like in order to grow and evolve and all these things, I had to be on my own, and that's okay. And I'm perfectly happy with that now. Obviously, in the first month, I was like depressed. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't. So yeah, now I just feel good and not only to do with the breakup it, like in general my life i just feel good obviously there's areas of my life that i would love to improve on things are not perfect but i feel like i'm like happy and i i don't know like i just wanted to be happy for so long and i feel that like i don't, I don't know how to explain it like i just feel like this self-love and this happiness and this gratitude for life and a lot of things can happen and shit doesn't really get me down the way that it used to and I just, I feel lighter and I feel freer and I just feel good. I don't know how to explain it. I just feel good. People around me notice it. My friends notice it. My family notices it. They just see that I'm just like, I don't know. I just feel different. I feel like some energy has shifted. I just feel different, okay? So along with like the breakup and stuff, um, obviously that was part of my new season of life. Uh, new new episodes. So there have been new characters in my life. I have a bunch of new friends and like I'm building friends that I see myself having for like a while and I'm it's been a while since I've made new friends and I've built some new connections that I'm like wow like I fuck with you like I want to hang out with you one-on-one. -on -one. I want to meet your friends I want you to meet my friends. I want us to you know like I'm making new friends like it's so cool I made a new friend on Bumble BFF and like Honestly, she's awesome. She came over. I don't really invite people over. So when I invite someone over, it's because I really fuck with their energy and I like them as a person. So I'm very happy that I have a new friend in my life. I met another friend through the drive with me. I reconnected some old friendships. I just feel good. I feel like I have new characters, literally. Like new characters are being unlocked in my life. And I'm like, what if these are like some people that are gonna be around for a lifetime? You don't know. Maybe they'll be around for a year. Maybe they'll be around for 20 years. I don't know. All I know is that there are some new characters unlocked, as I keep saying. Um, whew, what else is on here? 
season finale. Oh yeah, the season finale was the breakup. That was the finale of the last chapter, the last season. Um, now I feel like so much has changed since that time. Um, because when I was going through the breakup, I was still putting content out, a lot of content actually, but I wasn't like sharing as much. It was more like, I don't know how to explain it. I don't know, I didn't really update you guys, but like, I, of course I told you I started medication and therapy, and the therapy has been amazing. I had a hard time with it for a minute, I won't lie, because psychotherapy is like a lot of talking and not as much feedback. Um, it's also over the phone. We're gonna start in-person sessions on September 17th, so I'm super excited for that. Never met my therapist. I have no idea what she looks like, so I'm like a little nervous. Um, but yeah, that's happening. That's been great. It's been great for my mental health. Um, I've been cooking more. That's been great. Um, so I guess on a scale of one to ten, my mental health is at like, like a nine. Like a nine. I would say a nine. I would say 10, but right now, YouTube has decided to cut 30% of ad revenue for creators because they are um, taking taxes off, even though I don't live in the fucking states. Um, and on top of that, I haven't been working for like two months because obviously I haven't been filming. So my finances aren't what I would love for them to be. So I think that's where that little one out of 10 is kind of like, ooh. But overall, nine out of 10 because money is not everything. During this time, I've been having fun. I've been having fun, <laughs> like, I've been going out, I've been going out to bars, restaurants, I've been out in the streets, I'm double vaccinated, I wear my mask, you know, I'm pretty safe, um, but yeah, I've been having fun, you know, drinking, doing paint nights on my patios with my friends, going for walks downtown, just like enjoying the summertime, like, just genuinely enjoying the summer, drinking a lot of wine. A little too much wine like oh my god there was one night when I had two bottles with my friend and I was just like oh maybe I shouldn't do this again I have I've had some I've had some long nights <laughs> I won't lie to you I, I, I had two nights where I got sick mind you okay I can handle my liquor really well but I'm on a medication that doesn't mix well with liquor and I, I sometimes forget I'm on it when I'm drinking so I drink as if I am not on it and uh, it doesn't mix well. Um, I got sick another night. I just like, it was rough, but it's okay. I had fun and um, would I do it again? Yes. Yeah, I mean like I've definitely spent the most money I ever have in a summertime, which has been interesting to see what, um, what that's like, just like actually going out. Cause the past couple of years, of course, like when you're in a relationship, you don't really, do the most I would say I mean it depends on the relationship that you're in but I wasn't spending as much time alone my time was divided amongst like him and my friends so obviously I wasn't out as much and like with the person I was with we spent a lot of time inside so I didn't really get the chance to go out much so now this year I'm like actually going out and meeting so many new people making new connections networking making friends that I can go out with it's just been like a great time and it's it's just interesting to see what I'm like as my own person again. I feel like I've come back to myself and I'm not blaming it on the person that I was with because of course I'm the one holding myself back from myself. Um, I just feel like I lost myself a little bit and it's it's great to know that I've, I've come back to myself and I'm trying to make this promise to myself that I'll never let that happen again because it's so easy to get caught up in love and new environments and things like that so like i just don't want that to happen again so yeah i feel like myself again and it feels great i went to the cottage oh i have bad allergies that's another thing oh did you bless me thank you i went to the cottage so my cousin and i went up with her family to muskoka and we spent some time in nature you know i did a little bit of yoga i did some eating i did some drinking I relaxed, we went for walks, we laid out in the sun, we appreciated nature for what it was. It was lovely. I saw a dead chipmunk on the ground. It was disgusting. It was really fun. We spent a couple days there and went by the water and just like relaxed. It was a really, really good time because I just needed that time to relax and I felt like it was a really good getaway before coming back to content creation and all that stuff. So. 
that was fun. I'm trying to get into modeling for real Z's. As you guys know, I've been wanting to get into modeling for a while, but I never really took the initiative. I have a lot of photos that have been taken of me that I do love. And I'm trying to start doing some shoots with Toronto creatives so that I can create my portfolio. So if you're a Toronto photographer and you want to shoot, let me know because I'm probably down. So I did a shoot the other day and it was so cool. It was with a lovely girl that I met through the internet and um, she's a photographer. She's very talented. So we went to like these shipping containers um, somewhere in Toronto and they're like these truck trailers pretty much. It's like a full yard of them like in GTA. If you guys play GTA, you might know what I'm talking about. And I wore this dope ass outfit. I'll show you guys a picture. And I did a shoot with her and it came out so beautiful. It was golden hour so the sun was hitting nice. I looked lovely, she killed it, I killed it. I'm so excited to see the photos. Whenever I get the photos, obviously I'm gonna post it to Instagram and stuff, you guys can take a look. If you don't know my Instagram, it's Ash Flores TV. You can follow me on there, I'm gonna be way more active on there. So I'm gonna start building my portfolio. I wanna get into modeling really bad. I wanna at least try it once in my life. I've never given it a full, full try, so I'm ready to finally do that. I've been cooking a lot, trying out some new dishes. That's been fun, making lots and lots of honey garlic chicken wings and fries. I, no, not I, me and my roommate, we love honey garlic chicken wings and fries. I don't know what it is about us. We just eat that shit like crazy. I don't know why we always crave it. It's just so good. Been closer with my family, I feel. I'm seeing my family pretty often. I'm very happy with that. I feel like I'm closer to my friends. I am loving the summertime weather, although it's really hot in here. Really, really hot. I don't know if you can hear that fan. I hope it's not hitting the mic too bad but there's no AC, so the fan is doing its job. I've been wearing really cute outfits. I feel like my style has really evolved. I've been more creative with my fashion lately. I have had so much fun creating outfits. Every time I leave the house, I just like create an outfit. I don't just put clothes on anymore. I'm like making outfits and it's really fun. Yeah, like I just feel more creative, more in tune, more inspired. I've spent so much time outside. I just feel really, really good. Um, I also did the psychic reading that like I got so many answers on, I got so much clarity on certain things. I learned so much about myself, about my future, about what's going on right now. It was so dope. She was amazing. It, it's a sponsored video, so I'm gonna go more in depth in my other video on how she helped me out and stuff with her reading. I'm gonna talk about her a little bit in the other video, but just because I really, really enjoyed her energy and her wisdom. Her name was Kellyanna Psychic, I believe. I'm gonna link her down below. You guys can check her out. She was accurate. She was giving me names. She gave me a specific name of someone, and I was like, <gasps> it was so crazy. She gave me zodiac signs of people. She gave me like specific dates, places, people. Like, it was crazy, okay? I was sitting there like, <gasps> with my pen, like, writing everything she said down it was so dope that reading gave me so much reassurance on like what's happening and what's to come it made me very very happy so i highly suggest it what else oh i'm reading a new book how to do the work by dr nicola para yeah holy shit um so this book is pretty much therapy in a book and with a spiritual twist listen to the chapter names the dark night of the soul Bitch, come on. I went through that in 2020. You are your own best healer. The conscious self, becoming aware. New theory of trauma, trauma body, mind-body healing practices, the power of belief, meet your inner child, ego stories, trauma bonds, boundaries, reparenting, emotional maturity, interdependence. It's so cool. This is not sponsored. Um, I wish. It's so cool. This book has been a game changer for me. I haven't finished it yet, but honestly, like just from the chapters I've read, I've gained so much out of this book and I'm very grateful for that. Anyways, I've been chatting for a while, but I wanted to give you guys an update, let you know where my energy's at, my mental health, all of that. I'm going to be filming some more videos today. I'm so excited. So if you see me in this dress again, this dress is really cute, by the way. It's so cute. I know you can't really see, but it's from Urban Outfitters. It's really short. Yeah, if there's anything you want to see me uh, talk about on my channel, please let me know and I'll definitely get that out there for you guys. I'm gonna go dump out my bug infested matcha. I hope you guys enjoyed my life update. Let me know what's going on in your life. I haven't been keeping up with the comments recently because I literally took a break from everything. From social media, from my emails, from my comments, from everything. Like I was still posting a little bit on Instagram but I wasn't engaging like yeah, I've taken a break break, so let me know how you're feeling in the comments. Give me a little mental health check-in of your own. What's going on in your life? What's up? Let's talk. I'm going to be replying to everybody, um, so I'll keep an eye on those. But 
Yeah, thank you for watching this video. Thanks for sticking with me through my little break and Oh my god, I hit 10k. I hit 10k. I hit 10k. I forgot about that. Oh my god. Thank you. What the fuck? This is what's crazy. Before I go, okay, tell me why right when I took my break, by the way, my spirit guides told the psychic that I needed to take a break. I already wanted to take a break. I was resisting. I knew I needed to rest, but I was fighting it and I was trying to create and all of my content was trash. So I finally just like decided I should probably rest. And then when I did the reading with the psychic, she was telling me my spirit guides were saying, you need to rest. You need to rest. They kept saying that. So I was like, all right, bet. let me rest. Okay. So as soon as I start to rest, suddenly my channel's like doing so well. It was so weird. I hadn't posted in weeks and like I'm gaining subscribers left, right and center. When I started my break, I was at like 6,000 and something, I think. Now I'm at 10K. It was crazy. Thank you so much. I can't believe I already hit 10K. I'm so excited. Um, 50K next. Let's make it happen. But yeah, okay, that's my life update. Thank you so much for getting me to 10,000 subscribers. Thank you for subscribing, for waiting and patiently for new content and for just like being here. I don't know, thanks. <laughs> All right guys, I will see you in the next video. I love you guys and uh, we'll chat soon, yeah? Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. <laughs> Why do I do that stupid accent? Oh my God. <laughs>